as a lyricist from the West Coast, though, mm -hmm. I've heard this before from other lyricists from the from the West Coast, is that the shadow of N.W.A. and Dr. Dre and Ice Cube and Obviously, what they did was very artistic and culturally relevant and very lyrical. But, you know, the shadow of gangster rap, which was started by N.W.A., was sort of very big and hard for a lot of people to escape from. Is that a true thing? I, I would say yes. Mm -hmm. um, I think within the community of hip hop in L.A. or the West Coast, mm -hmm. everything else was coexisting. It was what the the market started trying to determine what was viable. Mm. Because you gotta remember, at the same time, you still had Dale, you know. Mm -hmm. Dale got to come out and do Mr. Dabalina. And, right, you know, but he had to juxtapose, he had to market, yeah, he market was it as, well, this Ice Cube's cousin. cousin. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And, and they, they were, I, we still call it like, you know, uh, only up until recently did people not have to succeed based off the NWA family tree. Mm -hmm. Really, 2009-ish, maybe. Mm -hmm. You know, everything's kind of been from that tree. Um, and, and, and it, it was, there was a time when you could still, you know, they were, they weren't necessarily, uh, exclusive to each other. Mm -hmm. There was a time where the, the gangster party had the hip hop heads and the hip hop heads had the gangster party mm -hmm. in it because they were all from the same neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Um, they all grew up together and then we got that differentiation. It was really based on record sales and then what, what the market, what labels started determining was viable. Um, and then, you know. Artists tend to parrot, you know, what they hear, like, oh, well, we this and y'all that. And, it, and, and originally it wasn't that. Mm. But it was a hard fight. I mm. mean, honestly, there, were, there was very few of us getting signed, mm -hmm. getting major record deals because, you know, labels just felt like, why should I get that when I can get another another Ice Cube? And, mm -hmm. you know, or, or you know, you and you weren't going to get another Ice Cube. You were going to get a, a, a Rice Cube. You're gonna right. get a fake. <laughs> Rice Cube. Yeah, you, right. You're just going to get a fake version. Right. You know what I mean? But, you know, labels aren't really in the business necessarily of finding talent mm -hmm. a lot of times. They're just looking for, oh, we, you guys got a prince. We mm -hmm. want a prince. And mm -hmm. that's the problem because you can't keep replicating people. And that's why things are not as genuine. Right. Because you have somebody that doesn't even know the other person's story that they're trying to rap like. Exactly.